Okay, so uh, by popular demand, um, I no longer have an intro. Anime bitches, I look at her titties, then I take her home and we count up these fifties. I come to your city, I sneak in your chimney, I tickle her kidney, and then I watch Disney. Ah, oh, Hoka. Koko ni te ne no mono nanka. Hitatsu mo ne en da yo. What's up guys and welcome back to another video and uh, today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to do uh, color corrections like for AMVs and stuff on QCup Pro. So uh, yeah, this is these are like AM like color corrections that people use on their AMVs and stuff that I have seen. Uh, this is probably going to be uh, quite a short video since uh, these are not hard to make in any way. But uh, yeah, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I, I think I'm going to stop using intros from now on. So the first step is obviously just get the clip that you want to do it on. So uh, yeah, I got this. And so yeah, you just double tap it and you go down to this thing right here. And uh, you kind of want to turn your saturation up to 20. And uh, you want to turn your contrast up to five. And a uh, big important part, you want to turn your exposure all the way up to 20. But yeah, that's it for the first one. Uh, by the way, I did not say I am going to be showing you guys how to do two, actually. So uh, this is the first one. Uh, this is kind of more for like orangey colors kind of thing. So if there's like more red and orange in it, you would probably use this one. The next one is for more blue colors. So uh, yeah, for this next one, I got a different clip where there's like more blue in it. So what you want to do is turn up the saturation all the way up to 10. So I've done that already. Um, also, the saturation depends on how colorful the uh, clip is already is. So this one is actually what was already originally very colorful. So I just turned it up to 10. And uh, then you want to lower down your temperature to negative 15. So you to get the blue out. And then you want to put your exposure all the way to 15. And uh, for a little extra thing, what you could do is uh, search up a vignette kind of thing on Google. Make sure it's PNG and just download it and put it onto this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Make sure it goes on for the whole clip. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, if you want it to be a, bit, a little bit darker, you could just duplicate it and put it right under it. But I'm not going to do that because I think it looks fine just like this. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, sorry if this was a short one. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.